So I just want to start this video off by saying thank you for everyone who watched my last video um, and also provided feedback on what you want to see. So in today's video, we're going to be going over how to create uh, planners or journals um, or notebooks via lulu.com and Canva. <music> So welcome back to my channel, Riri J. My name is Maria. If you are new, welcome. If you are an OG, welcome back. But don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this content as well. Thank you guys so much um, for watching my last video, the five best ways to make passive income in 2022. If you have not already watched that video, definitely check it out whenever you have a chance. I'm pretty sure you can get some great ideas from it. A lot of you wanna know how to make planners and journals using lulu.com. So I wanna give you guys what you want. And in today's video, we're gonna be creating a planner on lulu.com and we're gonna be using Canva to make the design. So despite the digital boom, paper planners and journals are still very much so high in demand. And if you market it right and you create a product that people are looking for, this can make you a lot of money. When it comes to creating your planner or your journal or your notebook, you want to make sure that you know what type of content you want to put in it. And you also want to know what type of audience that you will be targeting. Yeah, you know, I've seen people see a need and create a notebook based off the need that they saw, but they also had to identify how they were gonna market to their target audience. It is so, so important to know who you are going to market your product to, because of course, that's what's gonna bring you the sales. For instance, I'm really big on organizing my life. I like organizing my bills and writing them out every month. I like to also plan out my goals for the month. And I'm a new content creator as well. So I'm constantly thinking of things to do to create great content. So in my calendar, I have those pages in there. Um, have you ever opened up a calendar and there's a bunch of pages in there, but pages that you don't need. With the journals that people are creating now, they're a lot more tailored to what you know the target audience needs. So you can get the full use out of the planner or the journal that you're using. So what lulu.com is, is a platform that allows you to publish, print, and sell your books globally with their print-on-demand network while eliminating the risk and hassle of inventory and fulfillment. Here you have full control over what goes into your book and you're able to make real-time changes as you see fit. The other website that I will be using, of course, is canva.com. Now canva.com is an amazing creative space for creatives such as ourselves. Um, and it has a ton of templates. You can create a, your brand, you can create your content, all from Canva. About Canva as well is that it's free to sign up. You don't have to pay anything up front, but they do have a pro feature where you can pay, um, I think it's $12.99 per month, I think, um, and you're able to get access to uh, other features such as making a picture transparent or looking up your edit history. Now, if you're interested in either one of these, lulu.com or Canva, you can definitely click the links below in my description box. They are there for you to click and join and have some fun creating. All right, so let's just get right into it, but not before we mention today's sponsor, Anna Luisa. If you have not already noticed, I have on this gorgeous, dainty, and beautiful necklace from Anna Luisa Jewelry, and I also have on this gorgeous ring here, very, again, dainty and beautiful. I love wearing small pieces like this, and I love pairing them with larger pieces um, that I have as well. So what I love so much about Anna Luisa is that they are a carbon neutral jewelry brand, they minimize the release of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere by offsetting 100% of their carbon emissions. They also use raw and disposable recyclable material. So you're not only wearing beautiful pieces, but you're contributing to lowering our planet's 
carbon footprint. So I think it's pretty amazing that they are definitely considering our planet when making this jewelry. One thing I also love about them is that they have these beautiful little pouches. So when you're done wearing your jewelry for the day, these are definitely re reusable, made of high quality recyclable products as well. So if you're interested in learning more about Ana Luisa or maybe purchasing some jewelry from their website, definitely get yourself or your loved ones the perfect gift. And right now, Ana Luisa is offering 40% off if you use my link in the description below. All right, so here we are at lulu.com's website. Um, you will have to either sign in or register. So if you're new to Lulu.com, you're going to have to register. Um, I already have an account with Lulu.com. So I'm going to go ahead and put my information in here. And what I like about Lulu.com is the layout it's very easy to use very user friendly um they also have a ton of knowledge on this website so you're able to go in and uh get more information on how to create your books if you're kind of unsure about you know what type of book you want to create or what kind of you know size they have everything here all the way down to a pricing calculator which prices out the amount of profit that you would make based on what type of book you will create so I'm going to click on print or publish a book. I'm going to click get started. Then we're going to select print book options. All right, and I'm going to just select here, start your print book. So this is another great thing about Lulu.com. You see how it has the different stages at the top for you. This definitely helps so you don't get lost in the process. You know exactly where you are within the process. Um, we're gonna select print book. This option right here, this section, you will have to select either publish your book or print your book. Um, I select print your book because this is gonna give me the most options when it comes to my book. So once we get to this section, which is select a goal. So like the whole goal here is of course to pu publish your book. However, when you're doing this on Lulu.com, you gotta be very careful because once I hit the down arrow, I have Lulu, I can sell in my Lulu bookstore and I can also do global distribution. And this really limits the type of um, options that you have in the kind of book you wanna create. So what that means is if you wanna have a spiral bound, most distributors may not do spiral bound and you're gonna be limited to a few more, a few options versus all of the options. Um, also when selling from lulu.com, Lulu.com does not do print on demand per se. Um, so if you create a book here, you can't just have it sent or sent directly to Amazon from the website. But I am gonna show you guys later on in this video how you can integrate your Lulu.com uh, website to your Shopify store if you already have one. So I'm gonna go ahead and select print your book here. Um, for now, keep in mind, like I said, if you have a Shopify store, you'll be able to go in and select a spiral bound. You'll have all of your options if you have a Shopify store. And if you integrate your Shopify store to your Amazon seller's account, now you're able to kind of have that whole process flow smoothly and you get all of your options for your books. So let's just continue and I'll show you guys more of what I'm talking about as we go along. So once you select this, which is of course, print your book, now you wanna go down and uh, do a project title. So for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna put, um, I'm gonna put just monthly planner. All right, so you select your language. Of course, it's gonna be English. If you are watching this from overseas or wherever you are, you wanna select the language that you want your audience to read in. Um, so yeah, there's English. All right, so book category. Um, I am going to select this as personal growth. So we're gonna click on design your project. 
All right, so once you get here, this is where Canva comes in. So Lulu.com does have uh, features where you can actually utilize Lulu.com's uh, templates and design your internal documents and your cover and everything on this website. However, if you want a variety of options, um, and to be as creative as possible, you definitely want to go to an outside source. And for this particular demonstration, we're going to be using Canva as an outside source. So if you don't have Canva, again, the link is down in my description box below. You can click on that link. It is free, but if you want to take advantage of different options, you want to select Pro, which is about 13 bucks per month. All right, so once you do that, the first thing you wanna know when making your planner is you wanna determine your size. The, the uh, dimensions are very important because you don't wanna have your content kind of like bleeding out or cut off because it's, it's out of dimensions. So for my size, I want it kind of like the legal, the, the letter size um, planner. And so that is gonna be 8.5, by 11 for the internal uh, pages within that planner. In the search bar here, you wanna just click uh, select planner. So once you select planner, this is gonna give you a ton of templates that, that will you know, help you with jogging your uh, creative juices, kind of getting them flowing. Um, and you're, you're able to kind of select what you want. You can actually use these templates as well and when you click on them, you can go in and design them how you want. So that's what I love about it. So let's just start with, I'm just gonna use this one again for demonstration purpose. All right, so once you select your, your information now, the key thing to creating your planner is to understand that you're gonna duplicate these pages over and over and over again. So it is so important to make sure that your first initial pages are exactly how you want them. So let's say, I'm gonna go ahead and add a few more pages. I wanna make sure that the first initial ones that you're gonna be duplicating over and over again are to your liking to a T, if that makes sense, all right? So once you do that, um, this to say I went ahead and you know uh, made everything right, another great, way you can just check this as a whole is, you know, you have a zoom feature here. So if you need to zoom in, <clears throat> you can definitely zoom in. Now, if you want to see all of the pages, you can do grid view, which is down here at the bottom. So grid view allows you to see everything and you can also move these around. So let's say you want them in a certain order, you can take and click and move them around as you see fit. So I love that. All right, once you're done doing that, you can go in and go back to your editing page, which is this page, and you're good to go. Now, one thing about Canva.com is that in order for you to resize, you gotta have the pro account. I don't think that you're able to resize the paper if you don't have the pro account, but let's just check and see what this paper size is. I'm gonna click on resize, and right now it's in centimeters. Let's change it to inches. Right now, it's actually not too far off from what um, I use, but I'm gonna go ahead and change the size to 8.5 and the height to 11. And then I'm gonna do just resize. All right, so I did that. Once I'm done with the internal, and to keep in mind guys, this right here is the internal pages. So this is your you know, your note section and whatever else you might want to put in here. And again, you have a whole wealth of templates right here to look through and go through and add as you want. Like this one, you have four different types of, uh, of the same type of template. So you don't really have to go in and reinvent the wheel. In this case, you can just select this and add it to your planner. All right. So yeah, so once we do that, you're good to go. You can also have an option. You also have an option to add elements to your uh, planner. Like these are like the little cute um, borders. You can add different graphics if you want to. You can also upload um, your own pictures and graphics if you want to right here. Um, so yeah, you can definitely do that. As you see, I've used it some myself. 
Um, and then you can also put in your text. So you have different options for text as well if you want to, you know, be creative in that area. Um, audio, you wouldn't really need that unless you're putting in like a video or you want some music, but that wouldn't matter in a book, right? No, that wouldn't. All right, so then you also have your background as well. So if you want a specific background, uh, you can go here to backgrounds to look up some, you know, look up some options here. And of course you have your logo. So if you uh, do, like if you have a logo that you wanna put on your planner, you have that option as well. All right, so let's move along. And again, if you have more questions, if you have any questions about like any details about how to use Canva, let me know, cause this can get really drawn out <laughs> really fast because there's so many different like options, you know, in using Canva. Um, so I wanna keep it kind of short. So anyway, once we get our internal contents together, all right, now you wanna go ahead and click download. So you click download and you wanna, for your file type, you wanna select PDF print, all right? You don't want anything else but PDF print because lulu.com would not accept any other format except PDF. All right, you wanna hit download. Once you hit download, I normally go in and I save this to my desktop to make it easier for me to find. And I also label it. So once it gets through scanning, open it up. All right, we're gonna go here. I don't know, I, I have a HP computer. I cannot break away from this computer. I have looked at Apple's um, iMacs and all that stuff for a long time, but I have just found a liking to my HP computer. So um, if you have an uh, iMac, um, it should, I know it's a little different, you know, from my screen to yours. So you want to save this to your desktop. I want to save it as today's date, which is 122. I'm going to do internal. And I'll just put sample or, yeah, sample. All right, so I can know what that is. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save that to my desktop. All right, so once we do that, we wanna go back to lulu.com and we wanna upload that PDF file. All right, so you see how you may have other things um, in your on your desktop. You wanna make sure that you um, label it correctly so you don't get confused. Also, if you make any type of changes or edits to your, your document, which you may have to in some cases, please make sure to go back and label it like take one, take two, or update one, update two, because if you just put update or don't even try to like rename it, it can be very confusing trying to figure out which document to upload. So keep that in mind. All right, so as you can see, it just uploaded successfully. So now we're gonna go down to select our interior, interior color. Also guys, keep in mind that if you select color premium, you're paying a premium cost. If you select anything other like um, like black and white, you're not gonna pay a premium cost. Color standard is not a premium cost, but the color premium will definitely hike your planner or your uh, um, your planner or your journal. It'll hike it up. So I select color standard. Okay, um, and then you want to select your paper. So I just do white. I don't do coated white and then your book binding. So this is what I was talking about a little bit earlier when I said that certain distributors don't necessarily offer the same thing that lulu.com offers. So if you select the published global distribution option, you will not be able to select coil bound for lulu.com. That's a little downside right there. Um, it's because most distributors, they do hard, hard cover, they do paperback, um, saddle stitch, but Coil brown is something that a lot of people don't really mess with. So just keep that in mind. But again, I'm gonna show you how you can override that or bypass that using your Shopify store. All right, so I'm selecting coil, bind, coil bind, coil bound, sorry guys. Um, so my cover finish, so you can, use, you can choose matte or glossy. It doesn't matter, it will not change the cost of the book. So I'm going to go ahead and select glossy. 
it just gives it a nice little professional look. All right, so as you can see, I only have four pages. Normally, I would say your, your page count for your planner should be on average 75 pages. You shouldn't have anything less than 75 pages um, for your planners because anything less than that is going to look very thin. It's going to look very flimsy, and you don't want a flimsy looking planner. You want something that's a little bit hefty um, so people can actually use it. All right, so as you see, my cost is five dollars and 99 cents for this four page planner um so i'm going to go down and now it's time to create my cover so this is where canva comes in again um the dimensions for the cover is a little different than for the internal pages so make sure that you follow these directions to a t because it will mess up your cover if you don't so it's 17.25 by 11.25 so let's go here to Canva. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and create and select create design. Oh, hold on, let's go to home. All right, so I'm gonna select create design. And then at the very bottom, if you see that, it says custom size, you wanna select custom size. All right, and so in the width area, you wanna put in 17.25, and in height, you wanna put in 11.25. Now you see this PX, make sure that that's changed to IN, which is inches, and you see how that changed your numbers? Be careful with that so you don't create on the wrong um, dimensions. So 17.25, and then the height is gonna be 11.25, and then you wanna create new design. And we're waiting for it to come up. So this format is gonna look funny to you because it's it's kind of like a landscape look, but that's exactly what you want. So Lula.com is now in process of creating your front cover and your back cover. So that landscape layout is what we're gonna do use to make our front and back covers. So let's let me show you what I'm doing. So with this template right here, if you can see the blue line around it, you wanna go to elements. And once you go to elements, you want to click on just a line. All right, you just want a line. With this line, you want to get it in the middle of the page. So let me first turn it around. And you got to make sure it's standing at a 90 degree angle. So if you look at this little black uh, square right here, with the numbers, you should be able to see 90 degrees. So you see how mine's at 90 degrees. Let's see here. Let's first move it to the middle. That's our middle line. There we go. So as you can see what I just did, you wanna go here until it's at 90 degrees. That means it's perfectly straight. Once you do that, you wanna go ahead and just straighten that line out to both ends of the paper. All right, so go back and check and make sure it's 90 degrees. Oops. As you can see, it can be a little bit challenging um, when you're trying to make it perfectly 90 degrees, but we're gonna get it. All right, there we go. All right, so once you get the line in the middle of the screen and both halves are separated, now it's time to go ahead and create your front and back cover. We're gonna go to background. So creating your cover, your front and back cover, you wanna, again, we have a line there. I'm gonna select a background. Um, I'm just gonna select the background. So this is my background right here. So as you can see, I've selected my background. It's gonna cover the entire um, page and that's perfectly fine so this is how it's going to look so the first next thing you want to do is go to elements and this is where you can get really creative and put things that you might want so this side is going to be your your front so your right side is going to be the front and this side is going to be your back 
Let me put some text in that. That's your front. And your back. Oops. All right, so any type of um, any type of font that you want to use, any type of graphics you want to put in here, you can. I'm just going to just again for the sake of demonstration, just kind of throw some things in there. Um, as you see, I'm just kind of throwing in some font here. I have a nice little border around it. <laughs> I think that's pretty cute. And also what Canva is great at is the guidelines. So like if you are trying to align something or make sure it's even, if you, you do get the guidelines, I love that. All right, you can also put in your signature. So let me show you how to do that. And you can go into, um, here's your fonts right here to select like your particular font and put your signature down there if you want you can also put like your logo on the back here if you have a logo um so yeah there you go i'm all done i'm gonna throw this in here you know just get get really creative guys okay um i'm not being specific here because of course this is just for demonstration purposes to show you Kind of give you a feel of what you'll be doing when you're creating your book but once you do that you want to take and remove the black line and boom you're good to go all right the black line what serves as like you know a median for you to know where the middle part of it is make sure you also steer clear of of putting um any type of graphics that you want to be seeing on the very edges of this and i'll show you why in a few moments so we're gonna go ahead and hit download and PDF print and then download that. Okay, and this is how it looks. So I'm gonna download this and I'm gonna label it uh, today's date. Um, cover sample and then save all right so now we're going to go back to lulu.com and we're going to upload it to our cover file section of the website there's our cover sample and now it's gonna upload and validate and then you'll be able to see the final results once it's done normalizing. So as you can see, there's a warning here. It says your file contains images with resolution less than 200 pixels per inch. Um, Lulu suggests using images with a pixel per inch range of 200 to 600 for best results. So what that means is if it's very pixelated, it can look, it can come off as not as pigmented when the book is actually printed. Um, it's not a big deal because it's not gonna be to the point where it's unrecognizable or of poor quality. They just wanna let you know that, yeah, there may be some pixels. It may not be as rich as, you know, another image that is 200 to 600 pixels. So just keep that in mind, okay, when downloading your graphics. All right, so now that we've done that, we good to go. 
Now, as you can see down here, Lulu offers a quick template cover. So again, you can go in and design your cover um, using lulu.com's resources. I haven't really used their resources. I've always used Canva, but if you wanna try it out, definitely do. If you do try it out or you have tried it out, please leave a comment down below and let us know how that experience was or if you like that better versus Canva, um, let us know. All right, so yeah, we're good to go. Now here is the preview of our gorgeous book that we just created. Um, <laughs> it's called Glow, right? We're glowing up for 2022, right ladies? Right, gentlemen, we are glowing up. So yeah, this book is about glow. Um, but as you can see, it'll give you the rundown of how your book is gonna look. So plain and simple, this is how it's going to look. You have your back, your front cover, you have the four pages that we downloaded, but in your case, of course, you're gonna have lots of different pages um, to have here to, to view. All right, so once you do that and you like what, it, like what you're seeing, you wanna go down and you wanna do review uh, book. Before you do that, you can also print ready files. So you'll be able to kind of print a zip folder of your book it'll be downloaded into your computer so you can have. After you do that, you wanna click on review book. Congratulations, your book is nearly complete. Um, <clears throat> they also give you a last chance to revise, you know, go back and change anything before you move forward. And so once you do that, you wanna go ahead and confirm book specifications and files that you're happy with what you've created. And then it provides you with a view of the front cover of your book. And then you wanna to add to cart. I think I already have some items in my cart, so let me see. I'm gonna to have to remove them so that um, I can show you guys what I'm talking about here. Okay. All right, so here it is. So that one book is $5.99. We're gonna to continue to check out. All right, so you also gotta factor in taxes and shipping. Also, you gotta factor in the manufacturing process um, and of course the shipping process. So that in itself, takes quite some time actually. Um, for this one, let me go ahead and put in a fictitious name. <laughs> I'll just put Riri. And J. We're gonna put a fictitious um, address here. Let's see, one, five, I don't know. Okay, so as you can see, the shipping and handling is gonna be $5.59, and then taxes is gonna be 43 cents. So that's a total of $12.01. Um, these kind of planners normally go for about $25 on Amazon from what I've seen. So that's not too bad of a profit. I mean, if you factor in shipping, and you know all that cost you're going to make about 12 to 13 dollars profit if you sold this book not bad at all especially if you're making consistent sales and you're scaling and you're growing um that's not uh that's not a bad trade-off okay so keep that in mind now this price will go up a little bit um the higher your page count is so my book was 75 pages, um, so that means before tax and shipping, it was $9. So that's gonna cut into my profit margins and I'm probably gonna yield about five to seven dollars um, for my profits uh, per book, uh, book sale. So now if you look here, it shows you know the 
the time it's going to take for them to make your book and ship it to you. Guys, 13 to 16 business days is an eternity for me when I'm waiting for something. So just keep that in mind that you will be paying a lot. Now, this is only for the $5.59 um, shipping. However, if you want it to be shipped to you a lot quicker, you can expedite it for $21.59 and they'll get to you within seven to 10 business days. But even then that's still pretty long um, and a pretty long wait for you know a product. All right, so there you have it. The step-by-step -step process on how to create your planner or journal using Canva and using lulu.com. I do want you to also understand that with using lulu.com, you're, you're not gonna be able to have your book drop shipped. What you would have to do in this case is print the book, have them shipped to you, and you can start small, order five, order 10. Um, they're only, what, $9 a piece, right? So you'll invest $100 in, in planners and journals. That way, when your uh, customers go in and purchase, you can be able to ship them right off to them without having to wait 13 business days to receive the book. Now, if you have a Shopify store, it gets a lot more easier because guess what? Lulu and Shopify actually have a partnership. They have an app that you can download to your Shopify store. And when you do this, you're able to then go in and create books galore. And you have all of your options available to you. And what will happen is you can post these books and lulu.com will print it and ship it out to your customers. So if you have a Shopify store, definitely use that as an option. Um, also, please comment below on your experience. If you have a print on demand, um, if you sell books for print on demand on Amazon or in Shopify, share with us your experience below. We would love to hear more about it. And I'm a true believer that when you share it and when you have your hands open to give, you also have your hands open to receive. So I definitely want you guys to keep that in mind when you're sharing content, when you're sharing information, it's enough for all of us, trust me. And of course, there's many different directions that you can take when publishing your book. Um, I do know this one amazing young lady on YouTube, her name is Crystal Lee, and she talks more about how she went through her experience with getting her planner and her notebooks created using uh, Alibaba and some overseas vendors. She also has the in-state plug, guys. Yes, she has the in-state plug. Um, the link will be in my description along with her information. So if you are interested in having like a dropship option for the United here in the United States, um, she offered that information. Um, so definitely check her out. Again, her name is Crystal Lee. She talks a lot about how she built her business from the ground up as well. And she's truly an inspiration. So tell her Riri J sent you and definitely show her some love. Again, thank you to Anna Luisa for sending me this gorgeous jewelry. I absolutely love the story behind Anna Luisa. Um, this ring really quickly, I really did not tell you guys the name of this ring. Um, this is the Nicola and that's N-I-C-O-L-A. Again, very dainty and beautiful ring. Also, the necklace is just simply M necklace. So whatever your initial is, you would get that, of course. And again, they have 40% off if you click my link in the description below. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please stay tuned to my next video. Until then, guys, be blessed, be amazing, be powerful, because you are. Have a great day.